Okay, ladies and gentlemen, in 1.2, part 1, we're continuing. We have this quadratic function. f of x equals the opposite of x squared minus x plus pi. And we're asked to find f of the quantity 1 minus c. All right. f of x is the opposite of the input squared... Okay, that stands for input. The opposite of the input squared minus the input plus pi. So this is what the function, act, this is the y value of the function. This is how you determine output. Now in this problem, um, you know, I mean, in general, this is f of x, right? Well, when I replace this with 1 minus c, when I x ask specifically to find f of 1 minus c, this becomes 1 minus c. Okay? So in other words, this x, which was the same x that was over here, is a dummy. It's a placeholder. When you actually put in a specific x value, it's what happens over here. Now, what we need to do to start this process, to actually simplify it algebraically, is we need to square 1 minus c. So, I'm going to go over here to this piece of paper. Oop. 1 minus c quantity squared is going to become a trinomial, just like in the last example. 1 minus c times 1 minus c is a FOIL method problem. But again, please remember, what we're really doing here is we're distributing. 1 times all of this and opposite of c times all of this. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times the opposite of c is the opposite of c. Now we go to here. Opposite of c times 1 is the opposite of c. Opposite of c times opposite of c is a positive c squared. When I put this back in the correct order, I have c squared, and then the middle two terms are going to combine to give me minus 2c plus 1. Okay? So we foiled it, i.e. in math, 1105 lingo, we distributed. So, watch what we do here. This is equal to the opposite of, when I simplified this, this became c squared minus 2c plus 1. And notice I'm putting safety nets around it because this minus, or opposite of, pertains to all of it. And then I'm just going to copy down the rest of the problem as is without making changes right now. Okay? So, when I distribute this negative 1, I have opposite of c squared. I have a plus 2c. I have a minus 1 because all these signs changed because of this opposite of. Here, when I distribute a negative 1, I get negative 1 plus c. And at the end, I pick up a pi. And you know what this is meant to teach you? Don't just go sticking 3.14 in for pi every place you see it. I didn't ask you to approximate this answer. And also, even if I had asked you to approximate it, 3.14 is not a good enough approximation. You have a pi key on your calculator. So if anybody ever asks you to approximate an answer that has pi in it, push that key. Don't just put in 3.14. Your calculator has it to much higher degree of accuracy, you know, many more decimal points of accuracy. Okay, when I collect like terms, at the beginning I have the opposite of c squared. A 2c and a c is a plus 3c. Minus 1 minus 1 is a minus 2, and we pick up a plus pi. So my answer is strange as all get out, but there it is. Opposite of c squared plus 3c minus 2 plus pi, and we are done. Okay.